What was life like in the ancient city of Pompeii? A group of researchers are recreating it with 3D technology. They have built a digital house the way it was before Pompeii was buried by a volcanic eruption nearly 2,000 years ago. Films, television shows and books have told stories about Pompeii for decades. It's no wonder a trip to the ancient city makes many visitors imagine what it looked like before it was buried in an eruption of Mount Vesuvius. Now researchers have created a 3D model of one of its opulent houses to bring Pompeii back to life. The Swedish Pompeii project began the slow process in 2000. We started off with doing digital photographs of all walls in this house, a very big work. And then uh, in the recent years we started laser scanning. Laser scanning is much quicker work too, but it doesn't give us the colors of the walls. So we have combined the two things. The house they chose to recreate was a large one, owned by a former slave, Cacilius Lucundu, who became a free man and built up a fortune. He's generally uh, called a banker, but uh, auctioneer perhaps would be more purpose, <laughs> more accurate. Uh, he was, uh, well, a person living, well, you could say he's part of the, uh, not the topmost social uh, strata of uh, Pompeian society, but close to it. And he was a freedman, uh, we know that from his name. The 3D model of his house is not just fascinating, it's also helpful for research. As archaeologists, we work in 3D. So when we are in the field, when we excavate, when we look at a monument, we are actually embodied in the monument itself, for real. So we think in 3D. And the possibility of bringing back this environment to keep uh, going on with our interpretation is crucial. The archaeologists chose this house because it was 200 years old when Vesuvius erupted. It allowed them to study how it, and its last owner, evolved over time. When his fortunes rose, for example, his house also grew. Usually in Pompeii, we tend to look at the information as it was as soon as the eruption came. Now that is like frozen in time a moment, but the truth is that the house has a long story so, and history as well, so, and this history is dynamic and using these models it's much, give us the chance of having a much better look on the evolution of these events in time. 2.5 million visitors explore old Pompeii every year. Now, thanks to the Swedish Pompeii project, we can do it virtually as well.